pages and pages of censored, blacked out reports of secret US and UK talks. Is this the moment Russia successfully interfered in British democracy? No one's doubting the authenticity of these leaked trade files. But the online platform Reddit, where they apparently first appeared, has drawn a link with a previous disinformation campaign reportedly originating from Russia. This expert was the first to sound the alarm. The really big question is how did the leaks get there in the first place? What was the train that led those leaks from an internal UK <clears throat> collection out onto the internet? Whether it was somebody handing over documents, whether it was a hack and a leak, we just don't know. But those are the kind of questions that really need to be asked internally within the UK government. What's known is on October the 21st, an account called Gregoriator posted the leaked documents on Reddit. On November the 27th, Jeremy Corbyn used the files to attack the Tories. By December the 2nd, analysis emerged about the possible similarities with an alleged earlier Russia-linked campaign called Secondary Infection. Then, on December the 6th, Reddit said it too believed there was a link. The site banned 61 accounts. There's little doubt that this was some kind of information campaign, which is commonplace during election time. This Twitter account spent weeks trying to attract the attention of politicians and journalists to that original Reddit post, even the Labour Party. The key question is whether or not a foreign state was involved. I approached the Russian embassy to ask about the possibility of Russian interference, but a spokesman said that didn't deserve a serious comment. Labour too battered off the controversy. What are we concerned about? The veracity of the document or where it came from? And, and, and if a government spokesman uh, person wants to come up and say it's not our document, then so be it. Hillary Clinton might have something to say about that logic. Her 2016 presidential campaign was targeted in an alleged Russian hack and leak of emails. The Tories are concerned about the origins of the trade leak, but they face their own controversy over the refusal to publish a parliamentary report on Russia. The government obviously is taking uh, steps. We are very aware of the potential for overseas interference and watching very carefully through or lots of different channels as to what potentially might be going on. Britain's Cyber Security Centre is investigating the leaked files. Given the importance of information at election time, the quicker they can provide answers, the better. Deborah Haynes, Sky News.